Okay, so P Bandai Japan just dropped a really weird release. Uh huh. At the same time, yeah, maybe it's just a little slow or something. But let's talk more about it in this video. Tokuketsu! Yeah, to everyone, Kochi Kochi Kete in the house here, and welcome to the Tokuketsu channel where I talk about camera, super star, ultra and all those stuff here. Okay, so what P Bandai Japan has dropped this week here? It's actually the Premium DX uh, Geats Fox Rifle new. Alright, so the weird thing about this is uh, we actually had a similar release in China. Alright, sometime back so you can actually check out other people's uh, reference to it new. Okay, so Bandai China Big Scale Weapon has actually dropped before new. And this looks almost the same. The keyword is almost. <laughs> Alright, so let's get more into details about it new. Oh, this is the Magnum Shooter Fox near Premium DX. Alright, so this is going to be about 610 cm. And then it's going to be about 830 grams. Compared to the DX version where it's like 38 cm, um, 340 grams. Yeah, so it's almost double the weight. Alright, so it feels real. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Alright, and then compared to like an adult uh, person, this actually looks like it's pretty much one to one scale. Yeah. Alright, so it basically comes with two barrels here. One is the handgun mode, switch it out, it's a short rifle mode here. And you can switch it a longer one so there's more show accurate and the full length here. Mm -hmm. And here's something that's really interesting is over here, can you see that there's like a few buttons here? Near? Depending on which button you press, you're actually going to activate different, you know, uh, buckle sounds here. The thing about this is you need to remember that the China version actually don't have this function here. Oh, you actually have like the DX, like you know, the buckle sounds. Am I over there, yeah? Although you cannot like insert the DX buckle. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's like, you know, it's weird in between of I'll give you the sounds, but you can't actually put in the buckles then. Yeah. I'm like, it's so weird. I mean, it's a one up compared to what China has, yeah, but this is why it's so weird. And. Why did you get the chi uh, Japanese version here? Yeah? Because it comes with uh, over 15 sound voice lines and effects and etc. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so at the same time, yeah, uh, metallic red and white muzzle and all. I mean, this honestly looks similar to the China version here. Yeah? I don't think there's anything too different from that here. Yeah? And yeah, so basically they also show like Alright, when I swap it out, it looks something like this. Basically, you cram in three parts like this here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so overall, this is going at 16,500 yen. Alright, which is going to say about 150 USD. It is actually pretty expensive. <coughs> and for something this large, I think it's fine. That's a reasonable price point here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so way we getting this, uh, I'm just a bit weirded out that China came out with something first and then Japan just adds in voice and sounds to like, you know, trying to one-up the China version. It's uh, just so awkward here. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you find this is really awkward here? Yeah? Do you find this a really weird move here? Yeah? Alright, it's like, you know, we take China's work, uh, uh, we try to like, you know, top it up a bit. So pay us almost double for this thing here. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not right, it's almost double the cost yeah, for extra voice lines. Oh, we began this. Do you think this is a bit overpriced? Do you think this is a really weird release? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah.